Hi, good morning YouTube. Sackboy Mahalo here with another video. Okay, this time we're gonna talk about uh, the dragon fruit uh, s that I started from seeds. So I started this dragon fruit from seeds because uh, I was able to get a, a yellow variety from Ecuador. That's very sweet. And I want to... Uh, grow that uh, same fruit so I can have the same fruit afterwards when it uh, bears fruit. Well, from my research, I found out that uh, there's a chance that the seed that I planted will grow a fruit that's not the same as the fruit that I ate before. Because uh, some say that dragon fruit are not true to seed. So, what does it mean, not true to seed? It means that the fruit that you get from planting a seed will not be the same as the fruit that you ate. Okay? So, uh, like apples. There are many varieties of apples. That's why they have the opal apple the yellow yellow apple uh, once you plant that seed it uh, most probably won't get an opal apple of the same uh, uh, characteristics as the original fruit that you got it from uh, so most hybrids or apples are hybrids we're in the uh, cross breed uh, apples to get that same distinct variety that you want that's why uh usually orchards like apples uh, grapes they are propagated from uh, grafting or cuttings so if you're thinking that you get a yellow dragon fruit that's really sweet and you plant that seed you might not get the same type of fruit once it grows um that's why you have hybrids hybrid plants are like you cross two different varieties or cultivars and then you get a certain kind of fruit a distinct uh, characteristics that say it's bigger uh, it's uh, sweeter or even uh, like uh, resistant to diseases that's why you have hybrids that's how you make uh, hybrids from uh, basically uh, you cross two varieties and then you once you get the fruit from the cross of the variety then you plant that seed and you get a different uh, variety from like the original plant that you got it from because it's already a cross like a, a mother and a father once you have the offspring you have a combination of the traits of both the ma mother and the father okay so this dragon fruit here is I won't probably uh, get a hundred percent the same fruit as what I ate before. Mm, so if you're thinking about uh, starting a dragon fruit from seed, I want you to bear that in mind. Some people have paid a lot of money to buy seeds that says this is grown from a certain variety which is really sweet, big and everything. And then once they plant that seed and get a fruit from it, it's totally different from the fruit that they were thinking they're going to get. So this is just a gamble for me. Now I have learned something different. So it's fine though. And there's a chance of course that hopefully I'll get the same uh, fruit. Uh, same characteristic of the fruit that I ate, which I planted a seed right here. So, see if you're planting, it's I guess it's better to get uh, 
uh, start uh, dragon fruit from cuttings wherein you already know the what kind of fruit that it bears all right so here's a video of uh, a short video about uh, not true to seed dragon fruit okay have a good one thank you for watching bye bye